You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters, we're going to talk about the New England Patriots, more specifically, Bill Belichick, because he has made some rather surprising comments today. And if I'm to interpret this, and I'm just saying this is my opinion, it sounds like a man that would like to stay with the Patriots, frankly, uh, to be honest with you. And maybe he is trying to use, and we all know Bill Belichick is one of the most intelligent men in, in all of the NFL and involved with sports. But it seems like maybe the sales job has begun. We've also got some comments about uh, from Gronk about what he thinks. You've got to wonder how badly does the Crafts, how badly would they want somebody like Mike Vrabel? Because there's, there's a, a, a new story that's come out that Mike Vrabel would be interested in taking the Patriots job. And I'm interested to see what Patriot fans think about this. Also, Mac Jones made some comments. Uh, but the point is, um, there's a lot of rumors about Belichick. I mean, one of the things that I've seen is that maybe Arthur Blank fired Arthur Smith just because he wanted to go get Belichick. Uh, I think there was plenty of reasons to fire him, and that's an awfully, you know, What's your backup plan if you can't get Belichick and that's why you fired Arthur Smith? Now, I mean, you know, some people might say Mr. Potato Head could run the franchise better than Arthur Smith. I don't know, but you get my point, right? Uh, You better have more than one candidate in mind if you're going to fire your head coach. Otherwise, your organization is a disaster. Mm, Could be a disaster. Anyway, one might say. So, this is what Belichick had to say because it was pretty surprising. This is a mass live, but this is making its way around now. For the entirety of the 24 years in New England, Belichick has served as both head coach and de facto general manager, keeping final say on all personnel decisions. With a roster that was starved for talent in 2024, particularly on offense, they didn't have a single pro bowler and a series of misses in the NFL draft. Belichick's personnel control has drawn quite a bit of scrutiny. Look, I've said that if he was willing to give up personnel control, and I think you got to take a hard look at your offensive play caller as well. I don't know if you keep Bill O'Brien. I don't know if you go try to find somebody off the Shanahan tree. Uh, For example, one of these Frank Smith, Bobby Slowick types that will, will thrust this offense into some kind of a you know, 2024 uh, time period and, and, and somebody that just will know what kind of weapons to get on a team to make the offense speed up. It's, it's stuck in quicksand. Their weapons are stuck in quicksand. On Monday, Belichick was asked whether he'd consider seating personnel control and staying on his head coach, and he left the door open. Quote, I'm for whatever collectively we decide as an organization is the best thing for our football team, Belichick said. I have multiple roles in that. I rely on a lot of people to help me in those responsibilities. If somebody's got to have final say, I have it. I rely on a lot of other people to help. Whatever the process is, I'm only part of it. In a lengthy opening statement, Belichick lamented New England's last place finished and turned his eye towards, quote, quote, reconstruction in 2024. It was obviously a very disappointing season all the way around, Belichick said. Players, coaches, staff, organization, everybody is not anywhere close to our standard and expectations. So obviously things need to be fixed. Proud of the way the players and the team committed, uh, competed but not the results obviously from any of us starting with me all the way down to everybody else that was involved I know we all feel the same way so I'm under contract do what I always do which is every day come in and work as hard as I can to help the team in whatever way I can that sounds like a guy that look isn't going to agree to be traded And Florio wrote this article earlier, all right? 
And I'm not going to read the article, but basically Florio just comes out and says, it doesn't sound like Belichick's open to be traded, which means he's going to put the Crafts in the position of having to fire him. That's what it sounds like. All right, if they want to get rid of him, I mean, now he does sound open to negotiate the way the team is constructed. For example, maybe hiring, outright hiring a GM. It can't be Matt Groh. I mean, that that, that hasn't worked. Matt Groh, he hadn't worked, okay? They're going to have to find an actual personnel guy. Uh, The Raiders are interviewing uh, assistant GM with the 49ers, Adam Peters. That's exactly the guy I would call and get in there. Uh, If you're not going to bring back, uh, you know, have a guy like Scott Pioli come back in or Thomas Dimitrov or somebody like that, you got to remember Belichick once told Dimitrov not to trade for Julio Jones. So, you know, he sought advice from Belichick, and then when Belichick gave it to him, Dimitrov went the other way. Maybe that's exactly the kind of guy you need in there. Somebody that can go, no, you know what? This is the player we need. I'm just going to do it. So Ben Volan, and you can take this however you want to or with a grain of salt or whatever, but he's just relaying what Rob Gronkowski has said now. Quote, I think he's going to keep Coach Belichick, Bill Belichick as the head coach for at least another year. He's going to bounce back. He's still an unbelievable coach. He knows how to use his talent. When they're out there, out on the field, they have to go out there this offseason and bring in some offensive players, and then he'll be just fine. Yeah, but who's the offensive coach? Who's your quarterback? What's your plan at quarterback? Because you've already ruined this quarterback, this is Mac Jones, and guys, Mac Jones was surrounded by media today when he came in, and I'm not going to play the full comments. There's six minutes of it out there. You can go find, but uh, this is NBC Sports Boston Patriots coverage. Let's listen. For me, it's very important. I always take notes, and I've gotten a chance to go back and look at my notes from the past three years, and there's a lot of things I can do better, and there's a lot of things that are in my control, but there's also a lot of things that are out of my control. Um, and I've always said that I'm going to focus on the controllables, and that's important to me. Um, but like I said earlier, I feel like I've made progress, especially in these last couple of weeks. I've um, been here early, left late. You know, a lot of people would have just said, you know, I'm done, and I'm not going to do that. And I've worked out hard, put on, you know, seven to eight pounds of muscle in the last couple of weeks here. Um, so that's where I'm at right now, and that's what I'm looking for is the next opportunity. And um, I know it's going to come, but at the end of the day, as a quarterback and a competitor, you got to be ready, right? So I'm going to be ready. Obviously, you know, I, I want to say that I have a lot of respect for the people in this locker room, and that's where it starts. Um, I feel like I let people down um, with my play, and a lot of that stuff's in my control, and some of it's not. So uh, I'm going to do everything I can um, for my next opportunity, whether that's here, and, and really just push forward and, and continue to be Mac. That's what it's all about, and don't let that waver. Okay, so I'm going to be honest. That sounds like a guy that, that, that is out. Like, at least he wants to get out. He did own it. He owned his bad play uh, completely. But it also sounds like a guy that realizes he probably needs a a, a, a scenery change. What that's going to look like, I don't know. So this is what Jordan Schultz came out and said. Sources to Bleacher Report, Titans uh, way head coach Mike Vrabel's future this week. He's interested in the idea of returning to the Patriots should New England part ways with Bill Belichick, okay? And in case you're wondering what the Vrabel thing is all about, it's my understanding it's got to do with the fact that he's not real happy with the general manager situation there, all right? Evidently, he originally wanted somebody else. They hired Rand Cothran in there and... That's came with mixed results, I guess you could say. But he's not real happy about that. Obviously, I get the notion he's still very pissed off about the A.J. Brown trade, which obviously, I mean, it offensively killed that team. I mean, they had Ryan Tannehill that was running that offense pretty well because they had that 
you know, I mean, A.J. Brown is, I, I still say, he may be the best receiver in the league, but he's just a monster, and he's sort of like a phenom. And when you combined him with Derrick Henry, it was like a three-headed monster. They had they had taken, you know, kind of a a twelve to eighteen to twenty kind of quarterback in Ryan Tannehill and made him a a pretty good quarterback. And they could obviously in that division, they were winning the division and competing every year, and then usually winning a game, and sometimes two in the playoffs, right? And it felt like, well, if the ball would just bounce a certain way, the Titans might be in, look up and be in the Super Bowl. And I think Vrabel, this is just my opinion, but Vrabel thought, look, we're this close, and now we're not. You know, we're a, a trash fire. And, um, I mean, Ryan Tannehill and Derrick Henry both sounded like they were completely done yesterday. You know? And, and the Derrick Henry thing, uh, kind of surprised me the way I don't know if he's retiring or if he's just wanting to go to another team, you know. So I don't know. I think this is very interesting. If I had to guess, and Michael Lombardi said this on his podcast today, um, he said Belichick's completely open to collaborating on personnel decisions. He said, because, you know, Lombardi worked for Bill. Now, you know, one could say he's a Bill apologist, but at the same time, I mean, who are you going to ask for Bill Belichick information or, or want to hear from if it's not somebody that worked directly with him? You know, and if that's his opinion, he believes that Bill's willing to collaborate with people and and's got an open mind on personnel decisions, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know. I, I don't know how this is going to go, obviously. I kind of I'm starting to feel like Bill Belichick may stay in New England. That's just my opinion. But I'm starting to feel that way if he's willing to give up. I've said he's a great defensive coach. We've obviously just saw that. That defense was really good this year with injured players. It could have been great. If they had Gonzalez and Judon all year, that could have been a hell of a defense. And defense alone might have won them three more games. I don't know. But he's got to have somebody that will douche the way they do things on offense and then get wide receivers that can separate. All I could think, as I watched Baltimore, okay, and it was Baltimore against Miami, I think it was. All I could think, as I'm watching Zay Flowers show his ass, wide receiver out of Boston College, that everybody thought the Patriots were going to take. People thought, okay, they let Jacoby, he's going to walk, blah, blah, blah. They'll take Zay Flowers. They took Gonzalez. But as I'm watching that game, I'm thought, I thought, Mac Jones or Bailey Zappi, they've got nobody close to this guy to throw to. Not even in the neighborhood like this guy to throw to. Now, the Patriots got the third pick. You got to think it's going to be Joe Alt, left tackle, or it's going to be Marvin Harrison Jr. One of the two. But we don't know because we don't know who the general manager is and we don't know what offensive philosophy they're going to have. Tell me what you think, black and white sports supporters. Do you think Bill Stan? I'm kind of starting to lean in that direction. Because it sounds like he may be willing to work with them to the point that if he's not willing to accept a trade, if he's not willing to accept a trade and he says, I'm willing to hire a general manager. Well, if the Crafts really don't want him anymore, but he don't want to trade, they're going to have to fire him. And I just don't know if they will do that. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.